What's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and the month of June is coming to an end, which means we get to reflect on some of the best apps to hit the Play Store during said month. Let's not waste any time, let's get started. EV is a very clean launcher that just so happens to be very functional as well. You'll see you have your home screens and a search bar up top. The launcher is actually centered around search. You search for what you want and EV retrieves it for you. Apps, contacts, restaurants, stores, and places. You can use the search bar to search for all of your needs. And if you swipe to the far left screen, you'll see all your apps are listed in alphabetical order in the list view. As with your widgets, there's even a settings section where you can go to to change your wallpaper and Google Now settings and various other things, which is also listed in list view. If you're craving a simple launcher that's not the Google Now launcher, you need to check out EV. Music, Alarm, Clock, Sleep, Timer, aka Sleepcast, is an alarm clock app that does what you want it to do. It's in beta, so don't expect it to work flawlessly, but it does give you the ability to wake up with your own music playing on your phone, Bluetooth speakers, wireless speakers, or network connected DLNA or UPnP hi-fi speakers. The interface is intuitive and there are some handy effects or features that can help improve the waking up experience, which we all dread such as the ability for your music to fade in when the alarm starts. If you like listening to music when you wake up specifically, you know, specifically to your own music through various accessories, I think Sleepcast is definitely worth checking out. Rush Rally 2 is one of two car racing games in the list. It's a third person racing game and it's brand spanking new, featuring some pretty solid graphics. What I found neat about it when first booting it up is how it optimizes itself with the best graphics available for your smartphone to provide for the best experience with the least amount of lag, stalls, or hangs. The game is really what you see is what you get. Maybe you've mastered Asphalt 8 and you're looking for a new racing game to conquer. I can recommend Rush Rally 2. Dango is an AI app that reads text on your screen to predict emoji for you. It does not collect personal data or typing data. It just improves its suggestions by keeping track of how you're using emoji. For example, you type something lovey-dovey like hello babe and Dango gives you various lovey-dovey emojis like hearts and kissy faces. It'll understand what others are saying as well, and best of all, it works with third-party apps, so Dango will just appear when you type something. It's pretty great, uh, a must-have for the emoji junkies out there. Flamingo is a Twitter client in beta. It provides material design in a simplistic, easy-to-navigate UI. I like it because everything that I use can be accessed with just about one tap or a slide. You can swipe through to uh, your mentions, or messages just like that. Uh, it features support for GIFs, which can be played in your timeline. They can also be added in your tweets. You can also quickly preview photos, GIFs, and user profiles by long pressing on an icon or image. It's a lot like Force Touch. Ninja Awesome is a game about ninjas and it's awesome. Next app. Nah, just kidding, we'll talk about it. It looks just like a retro arcade game. And to be honest, I wasn't sure about this app when I was first researching it, but after booting it up and playing it for the first time, I actually got pretty hooked. It's not like you're really free to roam around, you're propelled forward, and then you perform various moves to jump or smash through opponents or over obstacles. Um, and there's even shuriken too, so you can throw them at uh, various opponents or enemies. It's pretty fun. Slash Keyboard is like a Gboard on steroids. Not only can you search Google for stuff to directly insert into a text message or Facebook chat, for example, but you can search through emoji, YouTube, photos, Foursquare, Spotify, Wikipedia, your contacts, Maps, Google Maps, uh, the list goes on and on. I've used similar apps before, but in my limited testing, this app, the functionality of this app works very well. It's a great app that any Gboard lover should try. It'll at least hold you over until Gboard comes out for Android. FX File Explorer is one of the best file explorer apps out there. It's very clean. The main menu is located in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You can swipe to select files. You can move or copy files. You can use multiple windows. There are gestures built into the app as well to make items larger or smaller or toggle the split screen mode. Um, you can use add-ons for additional functionalities that enable networking, cloud, music, image, and video, and even app management capabilities. If you're in need of a file explorer, check out FX. What more can I say? Radon is an app that I think is more cool than practical, but it lets you share links to nearby devices without using QR codes or NFC. It uses the sensors in your smartphone or in your devices ultrasound technology that is to broadcast links. So there's no pairing or tapping involved. If your device is nearby and both devices have the app running, it just works. The thing is it will send a link to everybody nearby who has the app. So if you have multiple friends who have the app installed, well, they're all getting the same link. But to receive a link, you just open the Radon app, 
and it'll appear just like that. It works very well. It's a pretty cool concept. Crazy Cars Chase is the other racing game. It's like Smashy Road. Eh, it's actually basically just a rip off of Smashy Road, but hey, there's over 30 vehicles to unlock, various landmarks to explore, simple controls, 3D graphics, and tons of new achievements. Maybe you've already beat all the achievements or achieved all the achievements uh, in Smashy Road. You can achieve them in this game. There are some weird permissions associated with the app that I would deny. They include reading phone calls, accessing your location, and accessing storage. Pretty weird. The app is from a top developer on the Google Play Store, though, so that's kind of reassuring. If you like what you see, maybe you want to download, install, and play this app. You'll find a link to all of the apps mentioned in this video down below in the description if you are interested. With that said, those are 10 of the best apps to hit the Play Store in the month of June 2016. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're brand new, let us know which app is your favorite, and comment down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.